Well, the majority of people who took part in our online poll think that expressways like the 198 and the 33 should stay put as they are. You can make your pick right now at WGRZ.com. You see, there's a continued push tonight to remove the 198 and fill in the 33. But is that even possible? Two on your side's Jackie Roberts gets answers. To many people, the Skajakwada and Kensington Expressways are just a part of their daily commute. But others see the roadways as a decades-old mistake. And it is really a park. On one side is a cemetery, a place of peace, and on the other side is a place of play. But we put people there at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. It's not right. At a meeting to discuss the expressways, activists came with one clear message. We need to stop thinking in the past and jump into the future. There are several ideas when it comes to what's next for the roadways. One is to remove them altogether. Another is to build a deck over a stretch of the 33, which would be covered by a park resembling the previously demolished Humboldt Parkway. Getting rid of it the way it exists now is just a service that we could do to the community. But how realistic is it that two main roadways could be taken down? And what does that mean for the drivers who use them every day? Advocates say our neighbors in Niagara Falls are leading by example. You know, making major transportation changes, it's an arduous process. Mayor Paul Deister says he went to his his first meeting to discuss the partial removal of the Robert Moses Parkway nearly 20 years ago. It requires a huge amount of community consensus over a long period of time to convince the bureaucracy, to convince elected officials that it's really worth doing something that's going to take a long time, be very hard, and be very expensive. But it can, it can be done. Those in favor of demolishing or redeveloping the Skajakwada and Kensington Expressways say the time is now. And after several years, they have the support they need to move forward. And it's normal for people to say that's a big task, but we're up for it as a community. It's not just one or two people or a small group of people. It's a lot of people. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.